Here is a high power magnification of the testes. This big circular structure you see there is called a seminiferous tubule. It's seen in cross section, so it would have been coming straight towards you. Those little swirly things towards the center are actually the, flage the flagella of sperm cells that are being manufactured. Uh, if I look around here, the pointer's kind of there on your left. Look at these cells that are located in between the seminiferous tubules, the pointer's on them now. These cells are called interstitial cells or uh, Leydig cells. Let's just go with interstitial because they're in between, they're inter between the, uh, the, se the seminiferous tubules. These guys produce testosterone. So these are gonna be the cells in your testes that are responsible for producing testosterone. If we look inside of one of the seminiferous tubules in the walls, inside of the, the tissue here, you'd find cells called uh, sustenticular cells or sustentacular cells. That's what it listed as in your book. You don't have to identify them per se. I'm not gonna put a pointer there and say, what is it? But know that this is where they're found. And these cells produce, among other things, they produce a, um, a hormone called inhibin, which then you produce after maturity and it helps the the sperm cells uh, mature. Uh, the cells start out here, and again, you're not gonna have to know, you're not gonna have to be, identify each one, but basically from the outside going in is how meiosis occurs. So meiosis starts out here in cells called primary spermatocytes. As they divide, they become secondary spermatocytes, and then they ultimately become uh, spermatids or spermatozoa once they fully mature. I'm gonna go back to the low power objective so you can see just how many there are here and this is just a one section through a single testis so lots of tubes these tubes are mostly connected they go back and forth in and out of the screen here um, and when they finish when the sperm cells are finished here they go to the epididymis where among other things they become motile they kind of flow out of here in the epididymis they become uh, motile meaning that they can swim